Gopakumar continued, Their limbs and garments bathed in streams flowing out of love from their eyes and breasts. Again and again, Yasoda and Rohini offered Artik to each limb of the two boys. She embraces him and lovingly kisses him. Will she hold his head to her breast or her waist? Filled with love, he brought me to his mother and made me bow down before her. Seeing that her son loved me, she was affectionate to me as she was to him. Then, ignoring all other duties, some gopis came there on a certain pretext. Seeing that the two mothers were making arrangements to bathe the two brothers, the mischievous lord said to the gopis, O mothers, we two brothers are tortured with hunger. Please, quickly prepare our meal. Bring father, and we shall eat. Hearing these pleasant words, the gopis said, O Sri Yasoda, queen of Braj, O queen Rohini, you need not do this. We will do this duty. You two quickly prepare their meal. We will nicely bathe them at once. Sri Yasoda said, Quickly bathe the older boy first and send him to fetch Nanda so he may also eat. Sri Swarupa said, Praising Mother Yasoda's pleasing words, Some gopis quickly bathed Balaram and sent him to get Nanda, as Yasoda and Rohini went into the kitchen. Sanatana Goswami explains here that Swarup is Gopakumar's original name in the spiritual world. From now on, he will be identified as Swarupa. One by one, removing Krishna's wonderful ornaments, They scrubbed his limbs with their own washcloths. Alerting me with a signal, from far away he tossed into my open hand the flute, which was like the gopi's rival, for which they begged, and which they tried to grab from his lotus hand. Sanatana Goswami explains that the signal was the Lord's dancing eyebrows. The gopis begged, Give it to me! Give it to me! Then they anointed him with excellent oil and carefully and expertly massaged him with the soft touch of their lotus hands. Still, either because he was so very delicate and sensitive, or perhaps out of playfulness, he cried out with a pained expression on his face. Hearing the cry of his pain, and at once coming out of the kitchen, She who had placed all her love in her son alone asked, What happened? What happened? Seeing her son's smiling face, she went back into the kitchen. Afraid, smiling, and singing songs, the gopis finished massaging him. Sanatan Goswami explains that the gopis smiled because they knew that Krishna only pretended to cry in pain but they were also afraid that Mother Yasoda would again come out from the kitchen. Then, with clear, warm, and fragrant Yamuna water from jeweled jars, they playfully bathed him. Then, with wonderful garlands, scented ointments, garments, and many ornaments, all brought from their own homes, according to their own liking, they dressed him as a dancing actor. Then they fed him some food that they had hidden, and then, with the offerings that are said to be proper to give again and again, offering Artik to him, they placed the offerings on their heads. Sanatana Goswami explains that the gopis may have themselves brought the hidden food out of love for Krishna, or the hidden food may have been arranged by Madhya Soda's own desire. The Artik offerings include camphor and a lamp. With paste of excellent sandalwood, kumkum, and musk, they drew wonderful pictures and designs on his neck, forehead, and cheeks. As he lovingly gazed at them, they carefully steadied him with their hands, 
to decorate his eyes with black kajal. Sanatana Goswami explains that because Krishna's loving glances made their hands tremble, they could not do a very good job of decorating his eyes. Again and again he spoke with them about the happiness of their pastimes in the forest. He said many wonderful, joking words and pleased them. Interrupted again and again by their mutual friendship, his decoration did not attain its completion. Sanatana Goswami explains that by saying, This is not good. Take it away and do it again. Krishna interrupted the process of decoration again and again. Her heart filled with love for her son, Yasoda left the kitchen again and again. Seeing what had happened, she spoke the following words, as if she were angry. Sri Yasoda said, O oh, gopi girls, because of your fickleness and childishness, his bathing and decoration is still not finished? Sri Sarupa said, Understanding the playful hearts of the gopis, whose eyes were then fixed on their beloved, an elderly lady said, O oh, daughter Yasoda, please happily see how these girls have brought handsomeness to your dark son. Hearing these words of her nurse, Mukara, she again left the kitchen. Understanding the joke her nurse had said, she spoke as if she were angry. All handsomenesses offering Artik to his lotus feet. My handsome dark boy dances again and again on the head of the entire world. The beauty of all these girls together is not worthy to offer Artik to the handsomeness on the tip of one of his toenails. Sri Swarupa said, How can his handsomeness, glory, and sweetness be described? It cannot be compared to anything in this material world, nor anything beyond it, nor even the king of Dwarka. Sanatan Goswami explains that handsomeness here means the handsomeness of his body. Glory means the glory of his dark complexion. And sweetness means the sweetness of his smile and other features. That his handsomeness cannot be compared to anything in the material world means his eyes and other parts of his body cannot really be compared to lotus flowers or other things. And also that his handsomeness cannot be compared to that of the incarnations of Lord Vishnu present in the material world. It cannot even be compared to that of the king of Vaikuntha, the king of Ayodhya, or the king of Dwarka. As Krishna is the crest of heroes, so Radha is the greatest heroine. As Radha is the greatest heroine, so Krishna is the crest of heroes. Sanatana Goswami explains that Radha, being like Krishna, cannot be compared to anyone else. They are both like each other and unlike all others. Completing the bathing and seeing that the Gopa king had come with Balaram, all the girls hid, and Krishna at once came before him. <laughs> 